morning, church. Thank you for being here this morning, despite the... Uh, well, I think in the past, when there's a Manny Pacquiao vow, very few people are in church. Puno in Vesper, or you 7 o'clock. We're all here, thank God. Come and enjoy God's presence this morning. Um, may I know who were here last Sunday? Who was here last Sunday? Here okay, so we were here doing, uh, we started a new series on on uh, radical giving. Okay, we're talking about finances. And what was the main lesson last Sunday? Anybody remember? What was the main idea about finances from God's perspective? Just one, the main idea. Everything is the Lord. Right? God owns everything. And it all revolves around that that uh, principle so that pagyan po is very clear sa ating buhay that God owns everything everything else just fall in the right perspective we're not going to be legalistic about tithes we're not going to be concerned about challenges in life without going back to the point that God owns everything so this uh, second Sunday we're going to talk about uh, the second part of that series which focuses on on uh, meeting our daily needs okay meeting our daily needs which means yung ating effort where do our effort go every day dun po tayo magpapa-focus this morning and and as we go to that uh, I'd like us to have an open mind and just allow God to speak to us in, in try to understand the challenge of daily fishing Sino ba sa kapag-fishing na dito? Fishing. Konti na. Si Kuya Ding ang master dito na ano, fishing. So one, I would like to... Kailan ba next? Wala? Wala pa, wala pa. So next time we, had a, we have a fishing schedule, we encourage all the men, young men, or pati yung mga babae, gusto nyo mag-try. So it's an opportunity. I'll share some of the things learned there in a bit. So we're we're focusing this morning on on fishing, fishing without a catch. The the point here is the effort that we do every day. Yung yung trabaho, yung pag-aaral, yung pagsisikap na ginagawa po natin day after day. How much effort do, do we put in trying to make a living, in trying to do our best? Right? There's a lot of effort put in and the challenge is at the end of the day, sometimes we feel like nothing happens. Right? May nakaramdam na ba ng ganon? Ay, sabi nung kanta niya, alam niyo ba yung kanta na yun? Yung mga young millennials, hindi alam yun. Si Quincy Jones, uh, si James Ingram, ba? Alam niyo ba yun? I did my best. Oh. Ah, yan. Alam niyo, di ba? That's the song. I did my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. Exactly our message this morning. Have you been fishing without a catch? You've been doing your best and nothing is happening. Anyone here in that same uh, experience? Meron na ba? Naka-experience? So ako lang. Huh? Naka-experience tayo lahat. You know, we tried our best and yet we end up in the same condition, same direction. I'd like to I'd like to start with, uh, I always want to have an illustration. Wala akong makitang illustration. So actually, maraming illustration about this. I shared this morning and you should learn about this as well. Sabi kasi ni Pastor o, yung 9 and 11, anong tawag mo doon? Copycat. So whatever I say in the 9, I have to mention in the, and just once, hindi na nila. Next week na lang. So yung, uh, there's an engineer who's really trying very hard to, to earn, to, to earn money for the family. Unfortunately, he is in a very tight, there's a very tight economic market for en engineers. So, wala siyang makuwang magandang job. May jobs, but not earning enough. So, this engineer opened up a medical clinic. Yung engineer opened up, yung mga medical doctors dito, Doc, ano lang to, ha? Joke lang to, joke. Uh, wag po kayong ma mga doctor dito. So, the, went to open up, a, an engineer opened up a medical clinic. An advertisement niya, Pag, uh, if you come to my clinic and you got well, you, get, you pay me 500 pesos. But if not, I'll return 1,000 one, 1, to you. I'll give you 1,000. Right? So it's a good deal, right? Hindi ka gumaling, double. 
pay you back. Right? So this, there's one doctor, real doctor, who said, well, let, let's try how good this new clinic is. He didn't know na engineer yung tao. No? Akala lang niya, no? tennis niya. So he went there. Sabi niya, Doc, the engineer, no? Doc, I have a problem. Uh, my taste bud does not uh, work. I cannot taste very well. So sabi niya dun sa nurse niya, sabi ni engineer Doc, get uh, box number 22 and give this patient three droplets. So nilagyan. Sabi nung uh, doctor patient, Oh, that's gasoline. Okay, you got back your taste. 500, please. Okay. So, this doctor cannot uh, agree, no? Sabi niya, well, ang galing, ah, but uh, I want to ch check again. So, come back the next time, maybe two weeks after. Uh, Doc, I have problems with my memory. Memory, okay. Nurse, give this doctor box, uh, get the box 22 and give three drops to this uh, patient. Then the patient doctor said, oh, that's gasoline. Okay, you got back your memory. 500 pesos again. Right? The last time, sabi niya, well, I don't want this kind of uh, situation. So the last, next time, the doctor came back. Sabi niya, uh, doc, I have a problem with my eyesight. Not see very clearly. Then the doctor, quack quack, said, uh, I don't have any medicine for, for the eyes. So as I advertise, I'll give you 1,000. Kasi I cannot cure, di ba? 1,000. But the medical doctor said, but that's only 500. Okay, good. Your eyesight is back. Give me 500. Huh? All right. Okay, at least natatawa kayo. So no need to watch the video again. Right? That, that, what, the po what is the point of doing these things? It's trying to put in perspective that people will always try to find ways so that we can get better, right? But gusto natin better always. We don't want to be in the same situation again and again. So we want to be better. We want to make more. We want to be up there, right? So it's yung, yung requirement of society, the pressure upon us, puts us in the perspective to want to earn more. And so we can think of so many ways to make ends meet or even put one over the other just to make things better, right? So this morning, we'll, we'll try to see, you know, not everybody can be like that engineer. No? Sabi nga nung, uh, no, yung, meron ba kayong kilala? Do you know anyone who's been masipag, matyaga, pero at the end of the day, ganyan pa rin ang buhay. You know, that nothing much changes. Do you know people like that? When I was growing up, I, I, there is a fishbowl, vendor that comes around every afternoon in our place. And hindi naman ako umalis sa tinitirhan ko up to now. And that same vendor still pedals fishball, although may bubong na siya ngayon. I mean, that not, not much different. The guy is masipag, matyaga, yet same condition. So that means it's not enough to be masipag, matyaga. There is something else. There is something else that we need to do. And this morning, that's what we're going to learn from the Gospels. What is it that we miss when we try to do our best and yet we don't get the outcomes that we want? Meron pong element that, that the Gospels can teach us. So I'd like us to first watch this video. There are two, two sets of uh, Gospels that we are going to discussed this morning, but I want to focus first on the video. This is, an, this is a retelling of Luke chapter 5. Then later we will read John chapter 20, okay? So let's uh, look at the video of the Son of God. Okay, so that is a retelling of uh, Luke chapter 5, verses 1 to 11. Not really that accurate. Now, if you read through Luke, uh, ito kasi the focus was on Peter and Jesus. But the book of Luke, or the Gospel of Luke, tells a, a, a really amazing story where Jesus was teaching. Nagtuturo po si Jesus. He was teaching and he was pushed to the shore. So sobrang dami ng tao, he was pushed to the shore. And so at the edge of the, sh the shore, he saw this uh, Peter and the rest of the disciples. They were already cleaning the nets. And see, Peter was the one going out to the sea. So he got on Peter's boat, and there, uh, Jesus uh, did this miracle, right? And he told 
he told Peter that he will become a fisher of man. Okay, that's the story in Luke. Maganda yun sana, nasa tabi tayo ng beach, no? And then you will have an idea of what is happening in the fishing that happened. So let's, I'd like everyone now to stand up and as we read John chapter 21, verses 1 to 7, so that we can have a perspective of the, the two stories here. So chapter 21 of uh, John, verses 1 to 7. Afterward, Jesus appeared again to his disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, which is also the same place, Sea of Galilee. It happened this way. Simon Peter, Thomas, called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two other disciples were together. I'm going out to fish, Simon Peter told them. And they said, we'll go with you. So they went out and got into the boat. But that night, they caught nothing. Say nothing. Nothing. Early in the morning, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. He called out to them, Friends, haven't you any fish? No, they answered. He said, Throw your net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. When they did, they were unable to hold the net in because of the large number of fish. Then the disciple whom Peter, the disciple whom Jesus loved, said to Peter, It is the Lord. As soon as Simon heard him say, It is the Lord, he wrapped his outer garment around him, for he had taken it off and jumped into the water. Father, we pray that your word will be very clear to all of us that you speak and teach us on how to catch correctly in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so we are going to base our message this morning on these two stories, okay? First one in Luke chapter 5 verses 1 to 11, which is the calling of the disciples the, before the start of Jesus' ministry. The second is John 21, 1 to 11, which happened after resurrection. So there's a three-year Three year, almost three year gap between the two situations. Okay? But they all came out in the same outcome. Okay? Jesus did a miraculous catch of the fish. Okay? Pareho lang yung nangyari that they were fishing and Jesus did a great miracle. So same situation. But three different periods. Okay? Eh, sorry, two different periods. Okay, let's, what's the difference between the two? In Luke, this was before the disciples were the disciples were called by Jesus. They were not yet disciples. Okay, they were still fishermen. Fishermen, palang sila. Okay, so what's the story in what we have read? Peter and he, they were fishing the whole night, right? We saw in the clip that Peter was already cleaning the net, right? And he said. The, uh, there is no fish. The whole night, there's no fish. Right? But Jesus borrowed Peter's boat. He went into that boat and told him to put the net to the other side so that they were able to catch a lot of fish. In fact, in Luke, it says, they, the nets broke, nasira, sa sobrang dami ng nahuli. Right? So that's, that's the, in Luke. And the, the bottom line, why Jesus did that, was exactly what we saw. To tell Peter and the rest that you will no longer become fishermen, but become fishers of men. That was the purpose. That's the bottom line in the first miracle. That they become fishers of men. In the next one that we read in John, right? What happened here? In the condition was they were... The same, they were now disciples. They became disciples. They were with Jesus all this time. Okay, the last three years, three years later. Okay, so they are now the same people, the same actors, but they are now disciples of Jesus. And it happened after resurrection. Jesus resurrected already. But the disciples, they were sad. They were cramped up in a place, right? They were all by themselves. And sabi ni Peter, di ba? Na-read natin, sabi ni Peter, I'm going out to fish. That means bored. Wala nangyayari. 
no leader, no Jesus, what are we going to do? Uh, I'm just going back to fishing. That's what Peter did. He was already, he lost contact with Jesus. Nawala na yung connection kay Jesus. He started to go back to fishing. Right? Again, the same situation happened. They fish all night, no catch. Fish all night, no catch. Alright? What's the bottom line? But Jesus came and said, you put your nets on the other side and they caught lots of fish. Right. Same conditions, different, different perspectives. Right? Before disciple, after disciple. So Jesus wanted to refocus them back. What is your purpose when you became disciples? The purpose is to become fishers of man. To become fishers of man. So pag nawala ka dun sa focus na yon, if you lose that focus to become fishers of man, what will happen? No catch. No catch. Right? So this is critical. So today, as we go to the details of this, I want us to think about this carefully. You know, I gave you some examples earlier. We are all trying to get into a condition where we look up to what we need, what we want, the better things, the better uh, aspects of life. Right? So if you fast forward now to the 21st century, what is it that is related to the two gospel reading that we have this morning? It's, it's what is known as a rat race. No, any one of you read the book of uh, Robert Kiyosaki called Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Ha? May nakabasa dito ng book na yon. So, Robert Kiyosaki talks about Rich Dad, Poor Dad coming from a perspective of a rat race. Sabi niya, meron daw rat race. Ha? Ano yung rat? Diba? Daga. No? There's a rat race. And he said, what is a rat race? A rat race is a race for material things. A race for lifestyle, a race that I will have all of these things in my life. The priority is to go after things, right? And in the, the definition of a rat race, I'd like you to see this perspective. Uh, do sa mga nag-work dito. How many of you, you work very hard and yet at the end of the day, uh, ito pa rin na nangyayari. You work to pay more bill, pay bills, Daming bayaran, di ba? You work hard so you can pay bills. And yet, the more you work, the more bills you will pay. Ha? Tama ba? Gusto mong mabayaran to? Gagawa ka ng racket? Nagtatrabaho kang extra? Right? You do overtime? At the end of the day, maras marami pang babayaran. Right? Students, study, study. The more you study, parang mas marami pa lalong aaralin. Di ba? Pag nag-aaral ka, mas maraming assignment, di ba? Pag totoong nag-aaral ka. Kasi mas marami kang aaralin talaga. Parang hindi natatapos. It's just a cycle. Right? It's just a businessman. You want to earn more profit? You adjust things. The more you adjust, the more it becomes difficult. It's a cycle. Right? It's called a cycle. Why is it a cycle? It has to do, remember last time we talked about the secret. The secret has nothing to do with how much we have. It has to do with the lifestyle we choose. Right? If you want to have more, you have to enjoy less. Let me repeat it. Last week we said, if you want to have more, you have to enjoy less. That's the principle behind all of this. You cannot fight. You cannot fight an enemy using the same tactics as the enemy is using against you. Right? Hindi ka mananalo doon eh. Paulit lang. It will become a cycle. Look at the, the, this is a very nice depiction of the rat race. It's a cycle. Right? You earn money, you work hard for money, or if you study hard, or you, or halimbawa, may nililigawan ka, no? you do all your best to get that lady's attention. Right? Income, then you get income, you have money now, you have to pay bills. Kaso, when you got the bills, you have you know, the perception, I have income, then I can do lifestyle like this. And then, pag hindi kaya ng lifestyle, anyway, there is a MasterCard. 
and visa, sino pa? At marami yan, magkakaya, mag-anak yan eh. Right? And then at the end of the day, you come back to the cycle, cycle, cycle. So it's a cycle that goes back again and again. Right? So in our life, in our life, it's either you make a decision, I want to get out of the cycle. I want to get out of the cycle. How do I do it? How do I do it? So in the same perspective, the reason why people are trapped in a rat race is because the, that cycle is the focus of life. Ano na nagiging focus? It's the priority. Ano ba yung nagiging priority natin na ginagawa natin? So if the priority is to maintain that cycle, then the cycle will continue. How do you get out of that cycle? That's what Jesus wants to tell us this morning. Because if you just continue in that cycle, what will happen is you will fish without a catch. Yung na pagod ka na pagod ka, trabaho kong trabaho, pagod ka pa rin. Right? Yung pagdating mo sa gabi sa bahay, instead na magre-rest na tayo, naiisip mo pa rin trabaho. Alam mo, isang symptom dyan, natutulog ka, naalala mo pa rin yung gagawin mo. Ha? Natutulog ka na, naalala mo gagawin mo. And worse, napapanaginipan mo. At worst, most of, worst of all, paggising mo, yun pa rin ang naaalala mo. That means, ha? sobrang ano na, ha? Ano, na, ta, na, na ano ka na, taling-tali ka na, you are really tied up with the rat race, you cannot focus anymore. You know why? Why we need to deal with it? It will affect our relationships. It will affect our focus. It will affect particularly our devotion to God. And that's why we need to break it. We break it. We need to break it so that we will have a restful increase. Sabi ng isang preacher sa Singapore, we can have a restful increase. Yun, hindi ka na-stress, nagtatrabaho ka, you're doing your best, but up to that point, yung kaya mo lang, and yet, you increase. There's no pressure to do more because you're just doing it to enjoy it. Sino pa may gusto, nag-work ka, and then hindi mo na-enjoy yung outcome ng work mo, the fruits of your labor. Right? Sayang, di ba? Sayang. You work so hard, you bought a 51-inch television, eh umuwi ka naman, alas tres na madaling araw. Ha? Sino na nanonood? Wala, di ba? Si ate, mabuti may ibang nakinabang. Bumili ka ng malaking ref, right? Para lagyan ng maraming laman, pero pag uwi mo na, pag dadating ka sa gabi, sobrang pagod mo, tubig lang ang naiinom mo. Are you getting my point here? I think, I mean, I, I'm not saying di ako sali, no? Nagtatrabaho din ako. So I, 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 I have, I'm, I'm also trapped in such a cycle that sometimes we all want to have a day na wala tayong gagawin. Di ba? How many of you gusto yun? Ah, nasa bahay ka lang, nakahiga ka, ah, nakataas pa mo, walang gagawin today. Gusto ko, serve ako ng breakfast, ah, lunch, dinner. Gusto ko, paliguan ako. I, want, I don't want to do any effort today. I just want to enjoy. Right? Why do we have that mindset? Because precisely, we're so tired the whole week. Huh? Yung mga millennials ngayon, kahit sudyante, narinig ako, pagod na pagod na ako. Hala? Pagod na pagod kayong, ano? Hindi <laughs> ko maintindihan eh. Di ba? Pagod na pagod. Right? Mga students, sasabihin sa akin, Sir, don't add more assignments. We're already Tired? Tired? Ay, who's tired? <laughs> ha? Tired na raw sila. Huwag na daw dagdagan ng assignments. Huwag na magbigay ng paper. So, you know, alam mo, mga teachers, ayaw nang check ng paper. Smart. Ako, test ko. Pag mag-enroll kayo, true or false lang. <laughs> Tapos, i-check pa natin inside class. You don't have to, you know, I don't want to do extra checking at home because I'm already tired, right? So, that's, that's why. I think we can all relate, right? Tiredness is a reality. But who wants to get out of tiredness? Huh? Who wants to get out of tiredness? Oh, kala, kala ko nag-agree kayo. Konti lang gustong magalis sa tiredness. We all want to get out of tiredness. And, and God also wants us to get out of it. Otherwise, God cannot use us. Sino magagamit ni God? Lagi pagod. Huh? Ate, prayer meeting, pagod na ako. 
Sunday service, ah, mamaya na 6 p.m., tulog muna ako. Pagod eh. How can God use us for ministry? Right? How can God use us to pray for others if you're always tired? So learn these lessons from, from uh, these verses that we have read. Okay? What is the less main lesson? The first lesson is you go after the desires, our desires. Without God, we leave us empty. Okay? You go after, we go after our individual desires. Yung mga gusto natin, it will lead us empty. Empty. Nothing. Second is, we just need to listen to Jesus. We just need to listen to Jesus. Later, I'll connect all of this. We need to listen to Jesus. And lastly, if we, if we refocus ourselves and listen to Jesus, then the blessings that we are all trying to get to will just come to us. Hindi na natin paghihirapan. Dadating na lang. Okay, I'll explain later what's the connection of the three. Right? So they're, they're all connected. The first one, talking about emptiness. Emptiness. We try to work so hard, at the end of the day, nothing comes out of it. Empty. Similar to what happened to the, to the fishermen. Right? They work all night, caught nothing. Empty. Right? Bakit sila? Bakit empty? Bakit empty? No, no catch. Because why? They were fishing at the wrong side. Right? Diba sabi ni Jesus, put your net on the right side. They were fishing at the wrong side. Okay? Most of us probably are in the same boat. Nakasakay din tayo sa boat na yon. We're fishing at the wrong side. That means we're putting all our energies and effort to something that will lead to nothing. Okay? Let me repeat it. We're putting all our energies and effort to something that will lead to nothing. Wala palang makukuha out of it. Right? So effort ng effort, wala rin palang mangyayari. Hindi rin palang magkakaroon ng outcome that you expect. So that is, an, that is a result. That is a result of trying to go things our own way. No? Gagawin natin without consulting Jesus. Remember our message last time? We need to consult God on every purchase that we make. Kahit anong bibili natin, i-consult natin si God because God is an efficient God. He makes the right decision for us. Just consult him without consulting him. If we do things our way, nothing will happen. Right? Bakit tayo napapagod? Sometimes you think about it. Pag natapos na yung challenge, sit down, think about it. It is because of a wrong decision. We made a wrong choice. And wrong choices will lead to emptiness. Sandali lang naman to. One time lang naman to. Hindi ko na to uulitin. Right? Sometimes we get into that kind of a trap. Lord, minsan lang naman eh. Oh, cheating. Minsan lang naman mag-cheating. Tsaka siya nagbigay ng paper eh. Sayang naman. Lumapit na nga eh. Diba? Minsan lang eh. Oh, o kaya business, di ba? Sabi sa'yo, huwag ka na magbayad, bigyan mo na lang ako para di ka na pumunta doon. Minsan lang naman. Right? Sometimes we're faced, this is daily decisions that we need to make. We know, yung iba doon, hindi na natin kailangan tanungin si God. Alam na natin yung sagot. Right? Remember, I always tell you here, ha? pag may, an- may tanong kayo, minsan, kaya ka nagtatanong kasi alam mo yung sagot. Gusto mo lang somebody to tell you that you're correct. You need to answer the question ourselves. Many of the questions we need to answer, alam na natin yung sagot. That's why we are actually fishing at the wrong side. And if we fish at the wrong side, that means we are doing things our own way. Fishing at the wrong side means we do things for our purpose. Lahat ng gusto natin, yun ang priority. No? Gusto lang natin para sa sarili natin. Kaya the outcome is emptiness. Right? You can be the richest person materially, but maybe poor spiritually. Right? Because you just habol ng habol sa things. Habol ng habol sa enjoyment. Okay? Do not believe MasterCard. No? Sabi ni MasterCard, di ba? Lahat daw ng mga, binib- mga pwede mong i-charge sa card niya priceless. Ah, eh, sino magbabayad nun kung priceless? Di ba ikaw din? 
hindi priceless. What, what, the, what the message is that if something is priceless, then we need to invest not just money but time. Right? Time. Right? Imagine mo, para sa isang trip, let's say sa Boracay, inutang mo, you borrowed money for that trip, you spent one week there, everything charged to MasterCard, right? Nag-enjoy ka nga, priceless nga. Memories, priceless. That's true. Every trip that you get outside, right? If you guys go to abroad, mga student, one, one week of a foreign trip, learning new language, learning new culture is equivalent to one semester of learning in a university. That's true. But if you borrowed money for that, you come back stressed, Right? Kabalik mo pala, paano ko babayaran to? Priceless yung memory, pero magkakaroon, malamang, kung medyo may edad ka na, magba, magkakaroon ka ng heart problem and mind problem. That's not really priceless. You have to pay for it. Right? And that's why we need to be discerning. Lord, where will I put this net? Kailangan malinaw sa atin when we make decisions to clearly know where to put that decision. Right? Don't, be, don't be influenced by what you see on TV, on the newspapers, on internet, or worse, don't compare ourselves with other people. Remember this, there will always be people who will have better lives than us. Ulitin ko ah, there will always be people who will have better lives than us. Laging may ganun. At masama. Doon tayo nagko-compare. Don't compare. Ang dali magsalita, no? Parang ako madali. Hindi, ma hindi madali po yun. Reality po yun. That's why I never go to any reunions. Ha? Yung mga may kaedad ko dito. Hindi naintindihan ng mga bata yun eh. Ha? Yung mga reunions, ha? High school reunion, college reunion. Why? Kasi pagdating mo sa reunion, go to the reunion table, right? Everyone will sit, huwag, you see in the reunion table, people will come together and make small talks. Bakit si ganyan? Di ba nung high school tayo, nangungupya lang yan sa akin? Bakit mas mayaman na sa akin? Huh? You start to think of those things, right? You start to compare. Right? That's why, never compare. Never compare. Huwag po tayong mag-compare. Don't look at other people. God has a special blessing for each one of us. If you start to compare, maingit ka. Now you start to go to the rat race. Kaya ko rin yan. Magkakaroon ng ano yan. Pride, no? Gaganyanin ka na ni devil. O sabi ko na sa'yo, lumipat ka ng trabaho. Doon sa mas malaking sweldo. Mag-overtime ka gabi-gabi. Lalaki ni sweldo. Makakabili ka rin ng kotse na ganyan. It's all because we fish at the wrong side. We fish at the wrong side. That means... Our priorities are not aligned with God's priority. Right? That is going to result to emptiness. The first time na nag-fish sila na walang huli, okay lang. They did not know Jesus. But the second time was unforgivable. They were with Jesus for the last three years seeing all the miracles that He did. Lahat ng miracles na ginawa ni Jesus. And yet, sabi ni Peter, I will go out to fish. Right? Nakalimutan na lahat. Remember, people have very short memories. We only remember good things. We forget the things of the past. That's why, kanina nung nag-alala nyo, praise and worship, I ask you to recall the good things. Why we need to recall? Because we have very short memories. We only remember what happened last week. Nakalimutan nyo na na lahat nung natanggap yung regalo nung Pasko. Right? Ano natanggap mo nung Christmas? Kailangan mag-isip ka na ngayon. We need to remember the good deeds of God. That's why the whole of Psalm, if you read it, it always says, remember, remember. Why is God telling us? Because we easily forget. We are people of circumstance. Kung anong mahirap, anong ninaharap mo today, yun ang focus. We forget about what God has done in the past. Yung mga magagandang ginawa ni God. That's why we always need to put a monument to what God is doing in our lives so that we don't forget. Right? Silo, these people forgot. That's why Peter said, it's finished, I'm going back fishing. Magiging fisherman na uli ako. I will no longer be 
a fisher of man, which was the purpose, which is still the purpose today. Everyone who becomes a believer in Jesus Christ is to be involved in fishing for man. Right? Whatever way. Hindi ka makapag-share ng gospel, okay lang. You can pray for somebody. Right? You need a good new job. Bakit ka kailangan ng new job? Kailangan mo ng mataas na sweldo? Kasi may bibilin ka? Okay lang yan kay God. That's good to God. God can give you that. But the question is, why do you need that? So that God, I can have more exposure so that when the right time comes, I can speak about your goodness. Right? It cannot be that everything is about us. If you start thinking about it, puro ikaw, ikaw, tayo, 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 then we lose the purpose. The ultimate purpose is to fish for man. Right? Then sabi ni Jesus sa movie, change the world. Right? Change the world. Imagine if each one of us would think of that way sa lahat ng ginagawa natin to fish for man, ang laki pong pagbabago ng mundo. There's so much change that could happen that every perspective that you do is to change the world. Fish for man. Right? It can be as mundane kung anong bibiling ulam. Kau naman, Pastor. Tatanong ko pa ba naman kay Jesus kung anong uulamin namin? Why not? Remember, He owns everything. Right? Why not ask Him? No, make a plan. Lord, this week, ito uulamin namin. Lord, traffic po. Saan ako dadaan? Sobrang traffic eh. Nagpunta ka sa waste. Waste of time. Ha? Puro traffic din. So what do you do? Pray to God. You know, it's, a, it's important that we involve God. That's what He's trying to say. I'm actually involved. That's why He came to Peter. Siya lumapit kay Peter, di ba? Friends, do you have any catch? Actually, God is trying to ask each one of us, anong ginagawa natin? No, are, nahihirapan ka na ba? God is asking each one of us. Actually, you know that. We know that in our hearts. Pag mahirap na hirap na tayo, God is actually asking you, kailangan mo ng tulong? Di ba dun sa clip, Jesus said, do you need any help? It's actually, God is telling us like that right now. Do you need any help? Because I'm just so willing to help. In fact, Jesus was the one who invited himself to the boat. Kita natin, di ba? Hindi naman siya tinawag ni Peter, di ba? Jesus is already offering himself to us. We are empty because we exclude him in our decisions. We fail because he is not part of our decision process. Right? We have to involve God in what we do so that we get out of emptiness. Second is we need to listen. We need to listen and listen very well. Right? I think me included, every day, you know, every day, there's an opportunity always to listen to God. And sometimes we just allow it to go away. Pinabayaan natin. And actually, kahit hindi mo siya sinasabihan, he's actually telling you to listen to him. Right? Peter, listen, right? Peter, listen. Kahit na ano yung, gin, ano yung dapat niyang gawin. Because Peter is a professional Peter is a professional fisherman, right? Why were they catching why were they catching fish in the night? Bakit gabi? Kasi at night there are going to be more fishes, their fish will go up because they're professionals, they know that more fishes will come up at night, not during the daytime. That's what he told Jesus, right? We were up all night, no fish. All the more, in the daytime, walang fish. Fisherman kami, professional kami. Right? Professional kami. Sometimes, ganyan eh. Jesus comes to us, when you read the Bibles and you got, got Jesus pinched your heart, sasabihin mo, pero Lord, huh? I'm a professional businessman. I'm a businessman. I know how to make money. Again, you're a student. Ah, I'm a top student. I know this everything already. I don't need to ask help from you. Bakit mo sinasabi sa akin ito? Lord, I'm the best musician. Why do I need help from you? I, I studied by myself. Maraming genius po ngayon sa panahon natin. We don't need God. I don't need your help in this situation. Right? 
We, we put God aside kasi kaya naman natin. Ay, kaya naman natin eh. The be realistic about it, lalo na yung daily routine, di ba? Hindi na tayo nagpe-pray. We don't need God. We already know what to do. Right? But God is saying, listen. Listen. Even if you know what to do, listen. These people were professionals. They know what to do. And yet, they listen to Jesus. They listen. Hindi sila nakinig, walang huli. Di ba? If they did not listen, they, the, nothing would have happened. So today, it's the same. The same thing is is uh, required of us, right? We may be professionals. We may be the best in what we do, but we need to listen to God. Alam niyo po. I know this kind of lifestyle that we have makes it difficult to spend time with God. Eighty to ninety percent of our time, as we said last week, is focused on earning and spending money. Right? Paano ko pa sisingit si God? Dami kong ganagawa. Daming deadlines, daming homework, daming trabaho. Paano pang magkakaroon ng time kay God? I want to tell you this. There is no excuse about having time with God. I know it's difficult. No, no. I, I, I identify with all of us. No, it's, it's not simple to have time with God. Yung mga, yung mga tao na sasabihin nila, Ako, nag-pray ako two hours. You know, pag ginawa nyo yun, I think some of you will lose lots of time in the office, at school, whatever you do. Right? It's just, sabi na natin yung word, impractical po eh. Hindi ako makapag-pray ng two hours. Hindi nga ako makapag-pray ng five minutes eh. Padadamihin nyo pa. Let's be realistic about it. But, but you know, regardless, it's not about time here. No, I'm not talking of quality time. No, hindi po totoo yun eh. Quality time, hindi po rin totoo yun. Importante is listen whatever time it is. You just have to open our spiritual ears and listen to God. I recommend to you, brothers and sisters, sa umaga, pagkagising, ah, napanaginipan mo na yung mga trabaho mo at lahat at na, naisip mo na yung mga gagawin mo. Pause mo na, Lord, ano po gagawin ko? Okay? Ask God, Lord, what should I do? Just give God two minutes. Give God two minutes. Lord, what should I do? Two minutes. I don't know what you want to do. You want to read the verse? You want, you want devotional? However you want to do it, just give God two minutes of your day. The first hour of your day. Don't do it at night. Nako, maniwala kayo. Matutulog kayo. Don't do it at night. You ask God first day, first time, first hour when you wake up, ask God, Thank God and ask God. Just that, like that. Two minutes lang. Pwede ba yun? Can we do it? Just give God two minutes first thing in the morning. Can we do that? We just start to do it two minutes per day. Right? Then you will start to rub with Jesus. No? Gumidikit ka kay Jesus. Two minutes lang. It might be that things will not work out just the same. Okay lang. It doesn't matter. Just give Jesus two minutes. Eventually, eventually, what happened with these people? Kahit na hardworking, courageous, patient, and cooperative ka, without listening to Jesus, nothing will happen. Just have to listen. Spend the few minutes a day. Two minutes. Two minutes lang. And then you will find that something will ha- come out of it. Huh? Why would they listen to Jesus? Why would I listen to Jesus today? It doesn't matter what will happen. Just listen. Just give Jesus time. Right? Baka may marinig kayong malinaw na malinaw na sinasabi sa atin ng Panginoon. If none, okay pa rin. You spend time with Jesus. And, and God will slowly and surely reveal Himself every day. Two minutes. Lastly, this is, this is the absurd part of it. Right? Why do we need to work so hard so that we will get the things that we want, the things that we dream about, those that we want to enjoy? That's why we work hard. 
Why do we study hard? So that we will get honors. We will get, uh, ano ba yan? Uh, first honor, cum laude, as a study. Why do we work so hard in business so that we will get the maximum profit that is possible? Why do we practice so that we can sing well? Okay, do, nothing wrong with all of this. However, if the whole time of our lives are spent trying to earn all of these things, actually, we're on the wrong side of the boat. We will not get what we want there. Because we are doing it through our human effort. The only way to get all of this is that the blessings are actually because we obeyed. Right? The blessing is because we obeyed. We are, we are not going to be after outcomes. Yung pong blessing, kaya po blessing, di ba pag binless ka ng tao, may nag-bless sa'yo, may ginawa ka ba? May ginawa ka ba pag binless ka? Di ba binigay lang sa'yo? Kaya nga blessings eh. So that means, we don't have to put effort on things that we want to get. We put effort on what God wants us to do, which is to become fishers of man. If you put all our effort in doing fishing for men, then the blessings will follow. The blessings will follow. Diba yun ang nangyari? When they listen to Jesus, the miracles happen. Nung nakinig sila, nung hindi sila nakikinig, walang nangyayari. When you start to listen to Jesus, the blessing starts to come. It might not be the way you wanted it. It may take time, but still, be assured that once you listen to Jesus, He will make a way that outcomes will come into our lives. The blessings that we are after will no longer be tedious. Dadating na lang po. Ha? Huh? We cannot be after something that is an outcome of obedience. We cannot be after something that is an outcome of obedience. Right? You want a new thing in your life. You want material things. You can save for it. Or you can use that to bless the work of God and God can use it in another way. Right? We, can always, we always have two options. Kung may bonus, anong gagawin mo sa bonus? Pwedeng ipunin, itago, or you can use it to invest in God's work. Both ways, you can listen to God. I don't know the answer. Because if you listen, you know what God wants you to do. Right? Hindi pwede namin sabihin sa ating lahat na, ah, pag may bonus ka, bigay mo kay God. No. It means that you have to listen. What is God telling us about extra money that we get. Right? Minsan, obvious ang sagot. May utang ka, may bonus ka, ibayad mo sa utang mo. Obvious yun eh. Kaya ka binigyan ng bonus so that you get out of debt. Because God cannot use people who are tired, who are in debt, and who cannot focus. If we are like that, we cannot be fishing for man. Kung ang in- dami mong iniisip. Right? That's why the same boat with Peter and the rest. We have to listen so that we know what to do. And if it's, things are very clear, the bottom line is just one. All of the things that we do is so that we become part of the fishing for men. That is the great catch that all of us need to be part of. Doon po tayo lahat dapat nakatuon. So next time you get an increase, Lord, what can this increase do so that the catch will be more? Okay, you got promoted, Lord, what will be the purpose of this promotion so the catch could be more? You became cum laude, summa cum laude, Lord, what will this degree or this award do so that the catch will be more? Right? It always have to go back to that one bottom line. Lahat po papunta doon. Hindi po puro lang papunta sa atin. What we want for ourselves will follow. Diba? Matthew 6.33 is very consistent. Seek God first and all these things will be added unto us.